It's officially cold and windy. Really cold. <laughs> and miserable. Oh, I've got my eye on the prize. <laughs> that freaking prize, man. Woo! Oh, this is real. This is the real deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> The bathrooms in our guest house are so grotesque that we actually <laughs> prefer walking out here in the cold. We walk about 100 yards to an outhouse that has a hole in the ground because that's better. It's better. It's better. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> the door has a scary ghost face. <laughs> It's pretty rare that you get to poop outside with a view of Mount Everest. That's like a bucket list item in itself. Good job, honey. Well, oh. It's basically just an outhouse. It's so much better than the place inside. Place inside, you just have to look at everyone else's. <laughs> yep, I know. <laughs> Good morning, day five. We had probably the most miserable sleep we've had the entire time. So today yeah. might be interesting, to say the least. On the itinerary for today is uh, trekking from Tangbuche, where we are now, to Dingbuche, <laughs> okay. which is at 4,360 meters. Your journey will pass through wooded forests and along the Imja Chola Valley. The views will become more impressive as the high Himalayas begin to surround you. You will contour gradually to Pangboche, an interesting Gompa site above the main village. This is the oldest monastery in the region and apparently dates from the introduction of Buddhism to the Kumbu Valley. You will then climb up to Dingboche at 4,360 meters. The views of Amadablam, his favorite mountain, and Island Peak are breathtaking. The trek today should take around five to six hours, just like every day, and that includes a lunch break. From my understanding, we descend again and go back up. So, no! I know, it's kind of the same every day. And still freaking cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It feels like we're gonna have like frostbite on our fingers. Ooh. I'm not really ready for this day. No, I'm not either. <laughs> to pack up, get on the road, and ponder what we just ate for breakfast. We ordered the American breakfast, which had scrambled eggs with sugar in it. I'm sorry, no, no. It almost tasted like sweetened condensed milk scrambled eggs. And then their hash browns were french fries, bless their hearts, I thought that was really funny, but they were really good. And then toast and honey, which the honey was pure and super good, but oh, those eggs, what the heck. <laughs> I've been doing a good job at finishing my meal each day. I really, I couldn't even gag down the eggs. And all of the meals so far have been good. The problem is that every menu is the same, so it's not that the food is gross, it's just that you get kind of yeah. tired of eating the same thing <laughs> over and over, and it makes it really hard when you're trying to avoid meat because then the menu is that much more limited. Yeah. We've been doing okay, but that just threw us off a little bit. <laughs> Goodbye, Hello Kitty. <laughs> Well, we have our first case of a bellyache. I'm good, Tay's not good. The only thing that we could think of is she's the only one that's been eating Dalbot so far. We've both had the natural spring water with the chlorine tablets. We've both been having the same breakfasts. So, 
I'm blaming Dollbot and I'm not letting her get any more today. Oh. Or tomorrow. <laughs> or the next day. Maybe the next. <laughs> mm, here we go. The ground is officially made of ice. That is icy ground, my friends. Be careful. <laughs> Break a hip. Yep. So this guy right here is the first and last bridge of the day. Three years ago, that little crumbly mess down there was the main bridge. There was a really strong landslide, knocked it down. So they built this. That is terrifying. I can't believe that used to go there. I love you. These beautiful terraces behind us are farming for potatoes because potatoes are the only things that can survive in a climate this cold. <laughs> we are also almost to the elevation where we will officially be saying goodbye to trees, which means we will be saying goodbye to quality oxygen, <laughs> which means that I need to slow down and hang out with you more. Yes. <laughs> because things are about to get really tough. Yeah. We have about an hour left or so. We're gonna take it slow today. Yes. Please explain yourself. I've come up with a new invention. The elevation is so high that I have to breathe through my mouth, but my nose is frozen, so I just made this. Okay. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm not with you. You're not with me, he's with me. You're all the way up there. <laughs> all right, say goodbye to the trees. This is it. We'll miss your oxygen. Yeah. We've officially found our first yak poop. <laughs> the trees are gone, and this is firewood tonight. In the dining room. In the dining room, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be smelling really good. It's officially cold. And windy. Really cold. <laughs> and miserable. But Dingboche is in the distance. We can see it. Oh, I've got my eye on the prize. <laughs> that freaking prize, man. Woo! Oh, shit. This is real. This is the real deal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. Oh. <laughs> We are walking up Main Street, Dingboche. The higher we get, the more you start to appreciate how crazy it is that people live up here and bring supplies up every day. It is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. That's how I feel right now. You made it. To Hotel Umanga. So toilet here. Toilet, okay. <laughs> Bed. Bed. Day five is complete. So let's start with you, because you're freaking me out. Like you're <laughs> You're the slowest person on the trail today. I was slower than most, but I made it. I would say the day started off on a crappy note. <laughs> this whole time I was like 
Please, please no, please no, I want to make it so badly. I had some ginger tea with lunch and some garlic soup just to keep it simple. But uh, I don't think it's anything serious because I've gone to the bathroom a few times since and I'm fine. I'm sucking wind. Even just talking right now, I'm like out of breath. That was my slowest day for sure. And it wasn't a difficult day. On my side, <laughs> that was absolutely the easiest day so far for me. I can't even tell that I'm above 14,000 feet. We were up and down stairs. We gained over, well over a thousand feet in elevation. Yeah. And for me, I literally feel like I'm at sea level. I don't want to speak too soon because that could all change tomorrow. But for right now, I'm good. The only complaints I had for today were it's officially cold and windy. So windy. So I'm consciously always trying to protect my face because I'm really prone to windburn and cold sores. So that is definitely going to be an issue. And this is the trek that gets you the view of the tallest mountain in the world. And that's why we're doing it, because it is the trek. But that trail was so crowded. And we, you know, we knew that was gonna be the case, but so far it's been awesome and we've had a lot of alone time, just today we didn't. So those are my only two complaints. Other than that, I feel perfectly fine. And I'm just ready for some dinner. <laughs> you're at day five, you're gonna finish strong. You are getting to Everest Space Camp. This is your trek, you're doing it. <laughs> She's gonna make it. I'm gonna make it.